The scarlet oak, Quercus coccinea and the Fagaceae, is a common oak in the eastern United States on very dry sites. It's one of the most drought tolerant oaks in the eastern United States. It looks a lot like a pin oak, except it doesn't have the deliquescent form that pin oak has. It's more of an open canopy tree. And it's a much more drought tolerant tree than many oaks in the eastern United States. The leaves look very similar to pin oak in that they have these very deep sinuses and the bristle tips, which tell us that it's a red oak. But the sinuses have a distinct C shape, and it's easy to remember Quercus coccinea, coccinea C. And it's a much more open sinus on Quercus palustris. The acorns are much larger than they are on Quercus palustris. They're about three times the size of a pin oak acorn with a relatively deep cap, a much deeper cap than you find on Quercus palustris. Quercus coccinea, scarlet oak, scarlet oak because it has a beautiful scarlet color in the fall. It's more consistently scarlet compared to pin oak, which sometimes is scarlet, sometimes brown. The tree has a very shallow bark. It's light gray. There aren't very dark, very distinct deep ridges and furrows that you find on some other oak species. It's a relatively short-lived oak, like many members of the red oak subgenus. It'll live for about 75 to 100 years, so it's relatively fast growing in between. But it is a beautiful tree. It does get large, but it is a very nice tree for the landscape. It doesn't provide exceptional timber value because it tends to have a lot of knots in the wood. Quercus coccinea, the scarlet oak. <laughs>